Hi guys, good to have you all back. It is May and we are mixing it up. So I have another project for us in mind for today. Okay, what are we making? I'm going to make an accordion ephemera holder. Now, I have made plenty of those on my channel. Different sizes, different shapes, different styles. Uh, the one that I'm making today is actually one of my favorites. I have quickly checked my channel and the last time I did this one was December 2022 in my top five favorite projects of that year. So I cannot believe it's been that long since I've made the last one. So um, if you've been with me on my channel for more than a year, you've probably seen me make one. If not, you're gonna see me make one. It is an absolute fun project, guys. Okay, I have supplies on my desk. Yes, I have loads. Well, not even loads. You don't need a lot, guys. You don't need a lot. I'm going to um, show you what we're using, give you some alternatives, and then start making one. I don't know how far we'll get. I might make two. But let's just start with the one. Okay, first supplies. Let me start with the papers. You're going to need a piece of cardstock. Now, guys, I use A4 size because that's what we have available here. I know letter size is going to be smaller. When I'm going to do the measurements, I am going to try to help you out there. I'm going to try. But you need a piece of cardstock. Yes, doesn't need to be heavy, heavy, but you know, heavier paper in a color. You could do white, but then you need to do a lot of a lot of inking. Just a piece of um, cardstock. If you don't have this, use scrapbook paper that you don't mind covering up because we're going to cover up most of it. For covering up, <clears throat> I am using Postal. Yes, I just want to use my kit because uh, I ha only have used it once and it's just too fantastic not to use. Now, if you don't have Postal, have something else, use that, lovies. If you don't do digitals, use book pages, magazine, pa just paper, just lovely decorative paper. In case you don't have Postal yet, uh, it is linked below. I'm going to link it below. Yes, so papers, papers for decorating. <coughs> I'm sorry. Now, for the, um, the inside, the pockets themselves, the accordion fold thingy, you can use anything, love, as long as it's a little bit sturdy. So, no newspaper, but magazine uh, pages, uh, pages from uh, an encyclopedia, just book pages. I'm going to use this book. Um, because it has loads of maps in here. I just want to make them from maps. Because I think it goes really, really well with the, the postal theme. Color-wise and, and such. And um, airmail and, and, you know. And I have this book. This is all um, uh, maps. But it's a little bit more modern maps. I liked using more vintage maps. But it's lovely paper. So I'm going to use maps. Maps. But use just normal book pages, love, because you won't see a lot of it. Yeah? Okay. Um, is that it for paper? Well, I might use some bits and bobs. For sure. For sure. Let's do the, um, uh, the tools. Well, the only tool that is fancy um, is my scoreboard. I'm going to use a scoreboard. It would be handy if you have one. We're going to make, in total, four scores. Yes, but you could measure it out and fold it if you want to. You don't need to have the big scoreboard. You can do with a smaller one. Uh, if you don't have a scoreboard, but you have a paper trimmer. Let me get one, uh, guys. Bum, bum. Um, uh, this is the fanciest paper trimmer that I have. But you can use just a cheap one. Um, it has the measurements on here. And then you can sort of use this as a, a scoreboard. Actually, this is a trimmer and scoreboard. It's from Mr. Tim Holtz. So maybe you have a scoreboard, uh, a trimmer, that you can use as a scoreboard. I'm sorry. I need to free my hands. So that's the fancy one. Uh, other than that, the usual suspect. Glue, glue knife, ruler, pencil, scissors. You know. The usual. Um, for a closure. Oh, I might I might use an eyelet. And then you need a cropper dial uh, or a brad or something. For a closure, I am for sure going to um, use Velcro dots. You don't need Velcro dots. You can also uh, make a closure by punching a hole, a hole and then wrapping something around. But, but I want to make it sort of fancy. So I have Velcro dots. Um, I also have some tape. You don't need tape. You could use paper for this. Um, I'm going to explain later where. Yes, uh, because I have some. I have. I will have two spines, two small spines. I'm gonna cover this on the, on the spines. Okay. 
uh, then i i've been thinking about the closure guys i have uh, some lovely vintage ribbon that is um sort of tape ribbon whatever yeah and it's in a lovely blue and red colors i also have this that has some airmail something on it but i might go a totally different route i don't know yet i don't know yet so for closure you need um velcro dots or just wrap something around is that it i think i might do some inking i don't know because i am using uh, a beautiful blue piece of cardstock if your cardstock is uh well not a dark color you can ink something oh corner rounder not necessary but hey i am doing a corner rounder is that it i'm going to decorate for decorating i might do a little bit of stamping i don't know i don't know yet but the base the base is going to be made from a piece of cardstock and paper okay let's get going okay guys let's make the base now before i give you the measurements i'm going to show you i quickly did one with just black cardstock uh what we're making this is going to be the shape yes this opens up and then you can open this up while well, partially not all the way with all the all the accordion ephemera pockets yeah so this is the shape so we're making a boxy now the spines are half an inch and this overlaps about an inch and this is again A4 size. So I'm going to give you the A4 size measurements. Now, if your paper is smaller, which I think it might be, um, <clears throat> then subtract one eighth of an inch. First, try it out. Just try out my measurements, lovies, and see what it looks like. I think the overlapping of um, uh, this would be smaller. But that's just what I have in, in my head. So if this is a little bit smaller, but it still overlaps, then it's okay. If not, if you're not happy with it, just subtract one eighth of an inch. Yes. So I'm going to give you the measurements. Yeah. Let's start with um, the, A4, the A4 sizes. Okay. Have your paper landscape, which means this way, not that way. This is portrait. This is landscape. Okay, I am going to score at two and a half. Two and a half. Yes, that is this flap. That's two and a half. Now, I want to make a spine. My spine is going to be a uh, half an inch. So, two and a half plus a, plus a half is three. Okay, now, if you've tried this, these sizes, doesn't work, make it two and three. 3 8 of an inch instead of two and a half yes and then add half an inch so you'll be at two and seven eight of an inch just subtract a quarter inch i think that'll do but i could be mistaken try it out try it out now instead of just going all the way to the end i'm just going to flip my paper i'm going to turn it around all the way yes much easier now we're going to make this flap and this flap of course is taller and then the flap that closes it up. So this is going to be three and a half, three and a half instead of two and a half. So three and a half. There you go. And on the bottom, we need another spine that needs to be the same size as the top one. So guess what? I'm going to score at four. Again, guys, if your measurements don't work, uh, three and three eight of an inch, and then three and seven eight of, of an inch. Yes, I'm hoping this will work um, out for you. Just try it. If not, take out a piece of scrapbook paper and then cut it to size and then make it. Okay, was that it for the scoring? That's it for the scoring. Quick, right? Yes, just four scores. Let me empty my hands. Okay, let's do some folding. Clean my desk, still a bit wet. <laughs> there you go. <clears throat> Well, we're gonna fold on all the on all the lovely scores. Try to um, make sure that it is straight, lovies. Ooh, I think this is the paper that you can distress. Ooh, that'll be lovely. May I might do some distressing. Probably will. <laughs> Probably will do some distressing. Yes. So this is the top. This is going to be the flap, the top, and then let's do the bottom part.
oh definitely this is the paper that uh that you can send and it will look lovely and distressed because it's already cracking well this is what my boxy looks like yeah great I'm going to round corners. I'm going to do this before I do everything else. Um, I have two different types of corner rounders, Lovies. I have the, the small corners, the normal ones. Yes, in this angle. But I also have like the wider angles. You don't need the wider angles. I'm going to use the wider angles. Uh, I'm not going to go really, really wide, right? I'm going to do 17. Yes, 17. Yes. And I'm going to do the smaller size on this piece. Are you? No, I'm going to do 17 as well. Otherwise, it'll be confusing. Now, this is an extra step. And um, if you do this step, the step will follow throughout the whole process. So if you've never made one, lovies, my advice is make it straight. Just have it straight. Yeah? Okay. It just looks nicer. In my opinion, it just looks nicer. So um, here's what I'm doing. <laughs> here's what I am doing. If you don't have this cardstock, lovies, skip this step altogether. I am going to distress it, which means I'm going to sort of try to destroy it a little bit. So I'm going to send the instead of inking all the edges, I'm going to send all the edges. Not not a lot, just just a little bit here and there. Yeah. And I'm only doing this because I think uh, there's craft colored cardstock underneath. Let's let's just try. Let's just try. Yes, yeah, see? Oh yeah, I like it. So instead of inking all around, I'm going to distress all around, which will reveal uh, a little bit of the cardstock underneath. Now I'm not gonna go to town on it. I'm not gonna completely destroy it uh, because I also want to see some of the blue. So just all the all the edges. I'm just gonna distress it um, a little bit. Now, if you don't have the sort of cardstock that uh, does distressing well, just ink it. Just ink all around it. Yeah? Okay, this is going to take me a while. So I'm going to do this off camera. So I'll be right back. And then it will look lovely. Oh, oh my gosh. Paper's great. Uh, for those of you Dutchies, I found this at Action, well, a couple of years ago, in a pack with luxury cardstock different papers yeah so um i have not seen it since but um if i find it again i'm gonna give it a shout out on my instagram okay let me distress it and then it looks a little something like this you could be done <laughs> Now, what I want to do, lobbies, uh, I am going to cover all the panels on here. You can cover them completely. You just can decorate them, make a collage on it, do whatever you want. Maybe you just want to add a label and be done with it. That's also a possibility. But I really want to use, um, well, the kit. So we actually need five panels. I'm going to cover this up. Yes. I'm going to cover this up. That's two. Then I need a little piece here. I'm going to have it sort of halfway Yes, that's three. This is four. And then we also have the back. That is five. Now, if you're not going to use the tapes, I'm going to use the tapes. You also need small strippies here. Here, on the bottom, and here on the inside. You could do this one, but you're not even going to see it. You're not even going to see it. Yeah? Okay, so um, lots of cutting panels and such. I'm just going to do one with you guys. I'm going to show you... Uh, how I do this. So I have my A4 sheet. Yeah. But because of all the lovely distressing on the edges. I really want to show a piece of the edges. Now I already know that this is um, two, and, uh, two and a half. So I'm going to make it smaller. Like two and a quarter. That will leave for a lovely border all around. Also make it. Need to make it smaller. So, um, like, uh, half an inch smaller, which is probably this bit and this bit. But, guys, do your own, do your own sizes. I really want to have this piece on because I absolutely love <laughs> uh, this sort of spine brown thingy. And I'm hoping the pen will be on here. Hoping it will. Yeah? So, first I'm going to cut it to size, which means I am taking off the sort of 
beige piece. Let's call it beige. A beige piece. So I'm taking this off first. With my paper trimmer. Did I do it well? Uh, this is better. Yes. And then I need to cut it to size. So we had two and a half inches. I'm going to do it two and one eighth of an inch, which is uh, uh, and a quarter inch, two and a quarter inch. Oh, it will not have the pencil on. I'm going to make it the tiniest bit bigger <laughs> because I really want to have the the pen on here. Will that work? Hopefully it will. Otherwise, I will have to cut it out again. Yes. Well, it's missing this piece, but that's that's quite all right. Also taking off these edges here. Now let's let's just see. Oh yeah, that's that's perfect. But this has a rounded corner, so I need I need to round corners. Now Guys, if you're using just copy paper, have something sturdier underneath and then around the corners. If you're just starting out, don't round corners at all. <laughs> what did I use? 17, right? Where is my um, corner rounder punch thingy? There it is. 17. There's one. There's two. So this will go on here and I am already loving it. Cool, right? Yeah. I will ink this. I will ink this. What are you using? Well, something dark. So, Scorch Timber. Yeah. Yeah, perfect color for this. Just make it... Well, I, I've made this grungy, but by all means, love is Make it cutesy in pink with flowers and, you know... Frogs. <laughs> Why do we keep saying frogs? Or cuckoo clocks? I don't know. I honestly <laughs> I honestly don't know. My brain sometimes loves my, my brain. Okay. Yes. So, um, I need to do lots of panels. Now, I'm going to do one more with you guys. Because this panel, um, when you flip it open, goes the other way around, yes? So make sure that when it's directional paper, do it in the right uh, sort of direction, yeah? So this is panel number one. Now, in case you get confused, if you want to do all the panels in advance, do it this. One. One. Believe me, it'll help. Let's do another panel. I'm going to show you one more, guys, because this, um, sometimes I made mistakes with this one. Because I want to do this panel over here, which will basically be the same size as this. So I'm just going to use this as a template. Love this. I'm just going to use this as a template. I've, I've taken out this uh, piece of paper. It has a little bit of a border all around already. Cut it off. And I want to use this part. So I'm just going to line it up there. Yes. I'm going to mark it here and I'm going to mark it here. So I have two marks on them. Now, uh, draw lines, a ruler and a knife. I'm taking out my paper trimmer. Will that work? Um, hopefully it will. It won't. I'm going to take out my large paper trimmer. Why? Because I also want to use the smaller part here. Using a ruler and a knife would have been way quicker, lovey. I know, but I did it this. <laughs> okay, where did I mark it? I marked it here. And it should be at two and uh, a quarter, right? A little over two and a quarter. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. Is it straight? Hopefully it is. Yes, and then I'm going to, where did I mark it? There. Now, it doesn't need to be precise, lovies. Honestly, it doesn't. So, this is my new piece. Now, I need to round corners. Now, automatically, you would round corners here, right? Because that's the lower part. But here's the trick. It goes on like this. So, round the corners on the top. That's what I wanted to show you. 
I've made that mistake many a times. I was like, okay, and then you need to round corners. Yeah, on the top and not the bottom. So this is going to go here. Are we loving it? We are. Where's my pencil? So this is a two and two. So I'm going to make three. Doesn't need rounded corners. I'm going to make four. No rounded corners. I'm going to make five. Again, rounded corners. So um, let me take out some lovely papers. Cut everything to size. Ink all of it. Round corners. And then we're going to glue it on. So I have all my panels ready. And um, a glue page out. We're just going to glue it on. I, I sort of numbered everything. Look at the lovely glue page. Yes, I don't even know, guys. Um, uh, was this? No, this is two. Let's let's just start with... Let's start with one. Yeah? Now, I'm using glue stick for this. Because we need to sort of maneuver it about. To, um, well, center it. So, I think glue stick might be the way to go. There we go. Yes. Pair one with number one. And there we go. I'm going to leave, hopefully, equal space all around. And again, doesn't need to be perfect. Also inked around all my uh, separate panels, lovies. I just want this to be a little bit sort of grungier. Fantastic. That's one. Let's do uh, number two. Number two. There we go. I've made plenty of these in so many different styles. And they're different every time. They're just I, I even sold them uh, back in the day when I had an Instagram shop. I even sold those. I get some questions, uh, lovies, uh, from some of you who are journal makers and such with questions. Can I sell my journals if I use your digitals? Yes. Yes, you can, lovies. Yes, you can. This is panel number five. I'm going to put five here. Yeah. Okay. Yes, you can. The only thing you cannot do is uh, resell my digital as a digital. But if you're going to do a project with it, you can sell the project. Yes. You cannot sell uh, a digital item using my digitals. Yeah. Now, here's the thing, guys. If you are making, uh, um, let's say you're making a master board, yeah, using um, some, some pieces of my um, digital. Not like all of them, but let's say you're using a master board with all sorts of papers and a piece of paper is from my digital. Yes, and you want to scan and copy the master board. I am quite fine with it. I'm not going to be like, oh no, that's copyright because I made this. No. Yeah, yeah. well, if you're going to do everything with my um, uh, digitals, of course. Then it's not. Then you cannot sell it because then it's all my work. But because but if you use some of it um, in a digital because you made a masterboard, no worries, no worries. Bum, bum. There we go. Do we need a new glue stick? go this was number three and then we have the last one left okay guys be sure you do it the right side up so this is your project flip it over it needs to be this side i did the old post office isn't that fantastic i might make <coughs> um a pocket on here Pro i probably will make a pocket on here Fantastic. Now, if you're not using the tape, you need to make uh, three more small strippies that are, uh, well, half an inch. So make them a little bit smaller than half an inch. Depends on how big your spine is. That can be, I can, uh, if I'm honest, a little bit tedious. <laughs> so I am taking the easy route. So I'm just going to put on uh, tape. Oops. 
There you go. Right side up, right side up. Yes. Leaving equal amount of space everywhere. Yes. There we go. See? If we fold it in, now it just looks awesome. If I do say so myself. Yeah? Okay. Let's do the tape. I found a tape with airmail on it. This is from Mr. Tim Holtz, but it's a very old one. I just I found a set at uh, somewhere. <laughs> Not even in a craft shop. I think it was at Creadu or, or something. And I think I'm just going to put it on. Right? Yes. But I do want nice straight edges on the ends. And um, here's the other thing that I'm doing. Um, also adding a little bit more glue. Just, just in case. Because this is all the tape. Sort of transparent tape, so... Hoping the glue sort of will dry. Will it? Because it looks rubbish at the minute. Or it looks distressed. <laughs> Will it? It's supposed to dry clear. No. Hoping, hoping it'll work. Okay. Um, I have two tapes. I also have this one. That says fragile. And I think I want to have this in the center here. Yeah. Oh, it's cool. That is cool. Did I cut it off too short now? No, it's fine. And this is a uh, tape with backing. However, this was not backed, so I'm adding a tiny bit of glue. Lovely. This is not to my liking. Can I remove it? I can. I am destroying the paper. That's quite alright. I'm going to put the other tape over it. Lovely tape, but it's see-through and I don't like it. So, using different tape. Oh yes, backings now. There we go. Have it the right way around. Now hopefully it won't show up. It doesn't. Good job me. Yep. So we have oh I like it way better. We have one here, here, here. And then I need one on the bottom. As well. It's actually the first time I'm using tape. Normally, I cut a strip of paper. Why? <laughs> Fragile, handle with care. I am. Oh, yes, I like it way better. Okay. Da 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 da. Yeah. Um, before I put in the actual harmonica thingy, yeah, I am going to make a pocket on the back and I'm going to use. Uh, probably brats or eyelets on it. That's why I'm doing it beforehand. Go, come off. And um, for closure, well, this looks like leather. So I want it to be a little bit more rustic or robust. So I am not going to use the lovely um, these, even though they're very lovely. I think I actually want to do something with leather and an eyelet. Yeah, I think that's going to be very very cool so let me go look for it yeah and um well make a lovely pocket on the back okay i found some uh, pieces of leather that i might use i don't know which color yet i could also flip this over yeah uh, well later first i'm going to do um 
a pocket on the back. Now, I absolutely love this image. I'm going to lose a little bit of this. That's quite all right. Um, there was so much to choose from. from the kit. Here's what I did, guys. This is the um, original print. Yeah. I printed out smaller. There's a setting on my computer. I have a Windows setting so that you can uh, print it smaller. So that's what I did. Uh, and I want to use this card to make it into a probably a yeah i'm gonna make it an, into a side loading pocket yeah here's what i'm doing i'm not cutting it out all around i'm leaving a, um, a little bit of room on the edges because i want to make a uh, gussets to make it a little bit bigger so here's what i'm doing just a tiny bit loves doesn't need to be like an inch or something so i'm gonna cut it here yes and then also here i will cut through the other uh, tags, but that's quite alright, love is, no worries, because it's a digital, we can print it again. See? And then, I want the opening here. So no gussets here. I'm cutting it down. Let's see how far it will... Oh no, that's perfect, that's absolutely perfect. Okay, um, I'm taking out my scoreboard again. Because it's a smaller piece, I'm just taking out my small scoreboard. You could just fold it, lovies. You could just fold it, no worries. Um, mm, mm, mm. That's not the right spot. There we go. Making a score here. Here. And, well... Somewhere there. At the right spot. A tiny bit. Yes. And here. Yes. Taking out my scissors. We have four of these little corners. I'm going to mitre all of them. I'm going to cut them out. Mitre it. So at an angle. Let's cut these out. And also angle the top yeah okay so i'm gonna fold these in and i'll actually glue on these lines why because now you have a pocket um that is a little bit sort of raised and that it will fit in something more than just a piece of paper a couple of pieces of paper yes i am going to trim it just the tiniest bit And I'll also, yeah, that's quite right. I just wanted the chair to be on here. <clears throat> also going to make a notch. Told you I was going to do some other stuff. Yes, maybe I'll make two. I'm not making two loves. <laughs> no. No. But these are very addictive. If you made one and it sort of works, you're like, oh my gosh, I can make it in this style and this style and this style. Oh yeah, that's absolutely fine. So I am first um, inking it, making it nice and grungy. And then I'll glue it down. Yes, on these on these flappies on the flappy thingies also this is way easier to do it uh, before we put in the the harmonica pocket thingies I want it here oh yes the, the chair peeks out that's just perfect a little bit lower perhaps maybe there you go Now, do we want to add brats just, you know, on the corners? Because that's just lovely. <clears throat> I'm just going to... Let's see. I will need four. I'm going for the sort of copper color. The red copper color. Yes. Yes. Need to poke a hole. I'm going to put something underneath. Is 
what I need close by? No. I have this felt pad thing. I do not know where it is, but that's quite right. I'm just going to put my finger under. Just in the corner here. Yes, through all the layers. It's, it'll be alright because there's going to be something uh, behind there. Am I doing it right? You're doing it right. Now, if you're going to do this like way higher, see the, the brass legs will be underneath where the flap is. So make sure not to put your bread legs here. You could, uh, but wait with gluing this on until you have the bread legs on. That sounds weird. Bread legs. Yes. Let's do one here. And here, yeah, do not stick your finger off. Need to be bigger. It's gonna look awesome. Let's have a look. Yes, yeah, see, it covers it up. Yeah. It doesn't even need tape because there's going to be papers there. Oh, you love it? I love it. I absolutely love it. Bigger holes, love. Bigger holes. Does not have a purpose, lovies. No, it's just cute. Or in this case, just really cool. And there you go. Yes. Pocket done. Oh, tell me it's not fantastic. Love it. Okay. Um, are we going to leave the closure? I'm going to do the closure at the end, lovies. Yes. First, let's just um, sort of focus on well, the harmonica pieces that are going to go on the inside. Accordion, not harmonica, love. Accordion pieces that are going to go on the inside. So we're going to need some pockets on the inside, the accordion thingy, yes? We know that this is three and a half inches tall, well mine is. I want the pockets to be actually a little bit smaller. So I'm going to make my pockets, it's probably going to go like so. I'm going to make my pockets about three inches tall, yeah? Okay, so I need paper that is six inches, at least six inches. Because <clears throat> um, we need to fold it in. And then we need the, the width of this. Now this is eight and a quarter. I'm going to take off a quarter. So I need it to be eight by six. Now my, my um, encyclopedia thingy. Fortunately is if I take this off. And I take this off over here. That's the flap out thingy. This is six inches. Uh, a little bit over six, a little bit over six inches, just about, love it, about. So I'm just gonna fold this in. So this is going to be the height of my of my pockets. Now let's quickly check if I put this these in here. There you go. They're not sticking out on the top. See, they are sticking out here. That's why I'm gonna do some corner rounding as well. Okay, <clears throat> but now we also need to have them. Uh, eight. So, well, you can you can measure. I'm gonna measure it out over here. I, you could also take out your paper trimmer, love. One, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I need to cut here. Oops, I'm sorry. Bump the camera. Tada! So it'll fit in here. See, it falls a little bit within the parameters of the of the pocket, yes. And then like so. Now, make as well not as many as you want. You cannot make twelve uh, because it will not hold twelve unless you make this like an inch thick. Um, at least three. Have at least three. I'm going to make five. Well, guess what? Here's four that I made earlier. Just you know, pieces. Cut them to size. Doesn't the directional part doesn't really matter, lovies. Yeah, so we're gonna make these into into sort of pocket top loading pockets. 
So I'm just gluing them shut first on the sides. Yeah, all of them. And then because I have rounded corners, I'm also going to round uh, corners on the top. Now I'm going to do uh, a couple of them at a time because this is, well, it's not thin, thin paper, but it's thinner, thinner paper than um, my other paper was. Yes, let's do three and then round corners. I've never made it from maps before, but I think it's going to look cute. Yes. So top top part, lovely top part. I don't know if the three is going to work. Where is my corner punch? We did 17. So let's do 17. Hopefully it will work. It does. It does. I just lined them up. Now, if you want to do some inking, do some inking, lovies. Yes, and, and do all of them. So, we have five sort of skinny, long pockets. Yeah? And we need to glue them. Now, for this, I'm using glue stick, lovies. Um, and I do recommend glue stick for this. We need to glue them to one another. Yes? But in a different way than you might expect. This is pocket number one. I'm not going to put glue on the edges. I'm just going to put a strip of glue in the center. In the center. Well, not a strip of glue. Like uh, two inches or one and a half inches. Uh, do not be stingy with glue. Just put on lots of glue. Yes. And then glue this one on. Line it up. Make sure they meet up at the bottom. Yes. Right side up, opening opening on the top, so I love all the openings to the same side. Let's, let's just say the same side. Yes. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing with the next one. Just only in the center. If you're going to do that at the end, lovies, not a harmonica anymore. <laughs> Believe me. Okay, lining it up again. There we go. Next one. And do, do how many um, pockets that you want, love, as, as long as they fit uh, in the little spine. So I could easily make seven. That would not have been a problem at all. And the last one. Now be careful with gluing uh, over here because you can sort of glue the pocket shut. There we go. Now you need to let it dry, but um, you can already tell. Careful, because I, I really need to let it dry a little bit more. That they are actually harmonica pockets. See? If you glue them there, they won't do this trick. No. no. Not at all. Not at all. So we have one, two, three, four, five pockets. Yeah? Fantastic. Now we need to glue them in. In the small little folder thingy now another mistake do not put glue here again just put glue in the center okay um something that you need to be careful with lovies if you glue it in and you glue it like so this flat it doesn't work anymore so if you glue it in it this really needs to be straight up so what i'm doing i'm just gluing it I'm, this is the, the spine can you tell hoping you can tell see this is the spine so i'm gluing this in a little bit, the tiniest bit above the spine and also um, within the same parameter, yeah? So I'm doing this one first. Not on the edges. Right side up, lovies. Openings on the top. Openings on the top. Don't forget. Yeah. So, gluing it in. A little bit above the spine and sort of center it. Yes, we have it straight up. It doesn't peek out on the top. And also, see, it falls in here. So a little bit above it, lovies. So not flush to the, to the spine there. And then we're going to do the next part. And this is going to be important because we want the spine to be f as flat as possible. So I'm just going to fold this up. Have the spine flat. 
on your mat and then fold this in again yes flat 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 and glue it see there we need to let it dry because this is glue stick needs to be dried see there Ta-da! now you have all your pockets oh i love the map i absolutely love it it is really cool so uh, well there you go there you have your pockets now all we need is a closure the closure can be anything loves just you know put an eyelet in and and just wrap something around or elastics or whatever i want to do something with um leather straps because i think it's going to look awesome i've chosen this one i've i've cut out two small leather straps that are one inch by two and a half inches so i cut these out i've used a this i hardly ever use this but it's perfect for um cutting leather and i used my ruler just you know but be careful because it's a danger it's a dangerous tool now you can have it like so i'm gonna it's gonna be like this guys i'm gonna attach it with uh an eyelet big one i have big eyelets it's going to be green completely different color than whatever uh i can also have it like this now i do prefer this color but it looks like way too you know proper it's clean so i want to distress it i don't know if this, this is going to work i've taken out an old pair of scissors and i'm just gonna do Oh, that works. I'm just going to do this. I just want to sort of distress it around the edges. And, you know, be careful not to hurt yourself. I just want it to look aged and um, sort of distressed. Oh, that does work. Yeah. Probably making the strips longer. Yeah. <laughs> and that's quite all right. That's quite all right. I'm doing this with old scissors, guys. Uh, I do not want to ruin my beautiful Tim Holtz scissors. Pro it probably will work, but I'm not taking any chances. Uh, do not forget sort of the tops. Oops. No worries. I didn't have any nails. Well, if I had nails, it was gone by. <laughs> it would have been gone by now. Okay. Yeah, well, that looks way better. See, it looks distressed now. Yay. Probably distress it. I'm going to fold it in. Yeah, because that's what I'm going to do. And then distress it a little bit more. Like so. I don't think the sanding disc uh, will help with this, so... Cool. Yes. Oh, no. More here. Yeah. Okay. What a mess. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. So, there we go. <clears throat> so what I want to do is, um, well, attach it here and here. Uh, after I distress it a little bit, <laughs> a little bit more. I think I'm going to glue it on first. Yes, yes. Using art glitter glue for this, I think it will hold. Um, if not, that's not a problem because uh, we're also going to put in an eyelet. It's just, just keeping it on there for now. You could also do a big one in the center. I just wanted to do this. There you go. Distressed enough. Well, we can distress a little bit more once it is on. Yes. Eyeballing that is sort of on the same spot. Yeah? Okay. Taking out my crocodile. So it needs to go through two layers of leather. Oh, it does look fantastic, right? Uh, and uh, cardstock. So here goes nothing. I think it will work, guys. Yes. 
It probably will because um, I put it to the test earlier. Well, I've been putting it to the test ever since I have this, have this device. Will it reach in the middle? Yes. See, it works. It does work. Taking out all the layers. Hoping this is the middle. If not, that's quite all right because we want to have it grungy. Now, I, I could take a... Ooh, it's just on the edge here, but that's, that's okay. That's okay. I could take out a normal eyelet, but... Um, Guess what, guys? I have these. Now, they are green, so it's a completely different color. But I think it, it will work. I have bought these online. There you go. Uh, because I love the color green. And they're big ones. But they are big, big. But I think with this project, it will work. Probably need to make the hole a little bit bigger. With the twisting trick. They're actually way too big for uh, paper crafting and such. But for this project, I think it might work. It might just work. If I can get them through. Come on! <laughs> no, it needs to be way bigger. I'm almost pushing my whole pencil through here. Yes, now it works. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, it looks amazing. Look at that. Grungy and sort of industrial. There we go. I only have a small and a big setting. I needed an extra large setting. No. There goes nothing. Is it in? It is. It is. And it looks fantastic. Yes, well, you see me struggle. Let me struggle some more to the other one. It's so cool. Yes, it's really cool. <clears throat> I'm going to put on the Velcro dots. I'm going to put them on, on the leather itself. Um, I will put the clear bit on the paper and the woolly bit there. Um, let's see, let's see. Woolly bit there. Now, before you just push them down, lovies, um, make sure. Is everything okay? Yes. <laughs> I thought I ripped all of them. Make sure that your spine on the top is straight up. Let go, please. Let go. So, don't just put, do this. No. We need them to be... This is already straight. Yes, and this also needs to be straight yeah straight straight push it push it push it real good i'm sorry <laughs> yes <clears throat> um 80s music yeah i love it was it already 90s no right no i think late 80s okay is it secure yes it is and voila we have a closure Yes, um, you can distress it. You can do this. See that? Yeah, now it's a brown or scorched timber in this case. Tada! You don't see the white anymore. And you don't see this because these are these are clear. Yeah, it's just fantastic. Just fantastic. Does it need any more decorating? In my opinion, no. Uh, but I'm going to have a quick look. Also, I'm going to have a quick look how long this video is. Could be like uh, three hours in. <laughs> um, and do maybe a tiny bit of decorating here and there. But it's already fantastic, right? Well, I think so. Well, let's have a look at the end result. I added two small pieces. Can you already tell what? Yes, because it's right in front of your face. I added this. It's a pocket. It's going to be amazing. Okay, guys. Uh, let's have a look. It's an ephemera holder. Yes? You can put ephemera in or piece of paper or what have you. What have you. Uh, on the back, I have the pocket. I just made a tiny little tag. This also came from, from the kit. I just added an eyelet and a piece of baker's twine. You know, 
cute. So we have the strippy here. We also have the strippy on the bottom. Yes, we have the fantastic closure with the leather. You don't need leather lovies. No, do um, do just two labels. Two lovely labels or uh, ta wheel tail tabs or what have you. Do something. Uh, you open it up like so. Yes, I made another pocket with this because this was a scrap that I had left. And then added two small little cards. Uh, and there was sort of a blank space here. So I added another label. Not necessary at all because, you know, it's just this kit is sort of decorated by itself. Uh, and then these are the pockets. See? Yes. Well, I did not cover this piece up. You could if you want to, but that's a piece that you hardly ever see. Also, I did not go all the way to the uh, to the bottom with this one. But by all means, guys, if you want to, if you want to be like perfect, perfect, cover them up. Cover them up. Yeah. Uh, and make it with any sort of um, how many pockets you want. At least three. Otherwise, the accordion would look weird. So have at least three. I usually have five or seven. If you want to do lots more, make sure your spine is a little bit wider. Yeah? Okay. Uh, so I've made it with the postal kit. But make it with any paper you have, lobbies. If you are interested in a postal kit and don't already have it. Because most of you guys already have it. I'm going to link it below. I'm linking it below. It's on my Ko-Fi. There's also a freebie with it, guys. So if you're not into buying digitals but like working with them. I have digitals as well from this kit. I'm linking below. Um, four links. One is the freebie and the the big kit in US letter size. Yes. And one is the freebie and the big kit in A4 size. So depends on what you use on a daily basis. So guys, that's it for today. Uh, the weekend is here. I hope you enjoyed this week. I absolutely loved it. I love all the projects that I've made. I'll be back again Monday with another project. We're mixing it up, so I have no clue what we're doing. But I'm also back this Sunday. Not with a vintage treasure haul video. Not with a what's up, what's new. But with an all about ink video. Where I swatched a new collection from Versafine Claire. It's amazing, guys. I love them. And uh, not only that, but I'm going to talk about ink. Not that I'm an ex expert, but I do have some uh, sort of experience with ink. So I am going to show you all the inks that I have, what I use them for, uh, what is good, what is not so good. So um, if you like stamping, be there Sunday. Yeah? Okay. Otherwise, I'll see you Monday. Guys, have a fantastic weekend. Until then, bye-bye.